What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok, too. And it's time to get this movie review started. movie came out today available to rent or even buy i say it's worth the purchase because you just want to pay a few extra dollars and you get to own it. i've seen the trailers i've done the reactions you probably have seen my trailer reactions for the school movie which i thought it was a delight i thought the the trailers every single one they put out i loved i love seeing little shaggy and little scoob and and how they met and all that kind of and stuff that's one of the part of the movies i really enjoyed i really loved the origin of the story seeing how they met how shaggy and scooby met and even how they met and became friends with friend the velma in and, and daphne all that's in it i actually wanted more of that part i well, did talk about the voice casting in this because they had I didn't even know Mark Wahlberg in this. How did I not know the Blue Falcon Mark? But what? Well, Brian. Brian was his name, Blue Falcon. But Mark Wahlberg. I didn't know he was in this. Will Forte. I never can say his name. Will Forte actually played the voice of Shaggy. He had Zac Efron as Fred. My little shock and surprise. They had some Tracy Morgan in this. I love Tracy Morgan, last OG and all that. And he made a little surprise as one of our little favorite Scooby-Doo characters, Captain Caveman. I know what you're doing right now. In your head, Captain Caveman. I've always been a Scooby-Doo fan. I have. I used to watch the little episodes of it with the, the mystery van and all their friendships. And they would always be battling some ghosts and stuff like that. Sh Scooby Snacks. You know I love me a snack. And, and Shaggy and him always running off scared. I'd be with this them. new school movie, I felt that nostalgia. I did. Watching it, I totally had that Scooby-Doo original cartoon feel. But what really gave me that nostalgia Scooby-Doo feel was first the dialogue. They'd put on those, put in those lines that you just love. They're from the Scooby-Doo. A lot of the original little saying zoinks and all that, which you saw in the trailer. But also kind of the little twist that Scooby-Doo our shows would have. Oh, I you don't want to give it away, but I'm telling you, you will be pleasantly surprised at some of the little twists that they have in, the, in this movie, and it totally reminds you of, of the original show. You'll be pleasantly surprised at some of the little twists in the Scooby movie, which will totally remind you of some of those Scooby-Doo original shows kind of played out the same way, which I was taken back, but I was like, ah! Oh, Look at this. It's like this. They are keeping true to like the Scooby Doo nostalgia. If I had any complaints, I would say I started getting lost in the story in the middle. They could have done without some of the stuff. I don't want to give it away for me. But overall, I did love it. And then they had some sweetness in it. I mean, you can't tell me that some of the BFFs that are famous that will just warm your heart peas and carrots from the Forrest Gump, right? Peas and carrots. Forrest and Jenny, that's like a BFF one that you always remember. But I mean, Scooby and Shaggy, that's like the OG of BFFs right there. It talks about friendship, their friendship. So it had me kind of on a little teary-eyed in some part. Childish humor. Now, you know I love me some fart jokes and all that kind of stuff. And some of the lines in this, some of the little humorish parts, I was dying laughing. So if you love Scooby-Doo. You're not going to be disappointed with this. You won't. You won't. I'm pr I'm promising you. It's starting to get some low scores on the Rotten Tomatoes. But I'm like, these stuffy critics out there, these stuffy Rotten Tomatoes critics, they're going there like this is some Oscar winning movie that they're trying to critique. This is a kid's movie from a kid's show back in the day. And it stays true to that Scooby-Doo feel. So if you plan on seeing it, Come back and let me know what you think. If you already saw it, you know, leave me some comments, thumbs, all that down there. And until next time.